Number 1. Maguana Beach. I was there just for an hour and liked it, but be aware of the annoying vendors and beggars. Also don't leave your stuff unattended very nice beach and especially scuba diving with Marlene Marine Divers nearby was a great diving experience. Number 2. Museo Arqueologico La Cueva del Paraiso. A bit hard to find, but ask the locals, they will point you in the right direction. Small cave that used to be used as a burial site for the local Tainos, natives that were there before Columbus and his lot exterminated them. There is a bit of written description and the cave's different floors don't take long to peruse. Number 3. Parque Independencia. Plenty of shade and benches for use of the public Wi-Fi. There are monuments to natives and settlers telling the history of the area, a lovely church where a remnant of one of the crosses Columbus left. Restaurants, shops, music venues, and a department store where you can buy nearly anything and get a glimpse at what might be in a typical Cuban home. Number 4. Playa Blanca. First of all the photo shown here is not a photo of Playa Blanca, but of Baraca. To get to Playa Blanca you have to walk quite a long way, along the beach and over to the other side of the Rio Mil, Honey River. Then another long, but very pleasant walk to a tiny space in the rocks where you can bathe. Number 5. Catedral de Nuestra Senora de la Asuncion. Nice church. Not to fancy like many churches in Europa, but I guess this was something to do with the lack of resources Cubans have to live with. But worth a few minutes while you are in town. Number 6. First coffee plantations in the southeast of Cuba. We took a trip up the mountain in Russian trucks to this amazing cafe, literally in the middle of a rainforest this is a well-preserved church with stained glass window and a piece of one of the crosses that Christopher Columbus left in Cuba. Visit or attend worship services. Number 7. Zoologico de Piedra. Cubans are really missing the boat by not promoting this world-class tourist attraction fully. It takes only $1 CUC or approximately $1 US dollar to see the artistic labor of three generations of the same family of sculptors' work, some 400 animals. The entire guided tour, included in price of admission, takes approximately an hour and two kilometers of walking. Number 8. Casa del Chocolate. Basically a cafe serving chocolate with or without rum, hot or cold. Museum is three posters on wall. I speak Spanish so at least I could read them. Not worth the visit as even chocolate disappointingly bad. Number 9. Magiara Park. We visited Magiara National Park while spending a few days in Baraka. We were advised to walk along the beach from the baseball stadium which was lovely and took about half an hour. There used to be a footbridge to cross the river near the end of the beach, but it was damaged and now there's a ferry service for CUC dollar one each way. Number 10. Museo Municipal del Fuerte Madison. When I visited, I was allowed free entry as the exhibit slash museum section was closed for repairs. It's nice enough to wander around the grounds and look over the wall, but it isn't very big so only takes 5 minutes. Hope you like this video for more videos please subscribe to our channel.